Hey guys, welcome to this weekly show. This is Tony, and today I would like to show you uh, what is this engineer's desktop looks like. And follow me. Hey, Anson. Hey. Uh, so, what are you working on recently? So I've actually been working on some wire terminal stuff and some of the Archimix stuff. So we have this board actually, the Archimix, and it's actually running on an M7 core and running at 600 megahertz. And before that, we were just running on his SDK. And recently, we have convert. We did the Arduino bootloader, so you can convert this board into the Arduino Arduino board. So this actually becomes a, one of the most powerful Arduino board in the market out there. Oh, cool. So this one is the most powerful uh, microcontroller in your desktop? Uh, well, it should be because this one's M7 and the wide terminal is the M4. And I also have the Samd210 here, which is uh, M0 plus. And so this one's running at 600 megahertz, which mm. is almost like triple the speed of the wide terminal. Um, what else? So we actually have another product here, which is this is actually designed by the customer, and it actually converts the 40 pin at the back of the Y terminal into the same layout as the Raspberry Pi. So if we just plug in like this, and you, now you have this 40 pin header right here for the Raspberry Raspberry Pi hat. So we have the Ethernet here, which runs on the SPI. So this one actually works perfectly with the wide terminal as well. So you can just plug in like this. This one can actually plug in. So like this. So now you can have the <coughs> Pi Hat running on ras uh, on wide terminal. Oh. And also one more interesting one here. So we have the Raspberry Pi uh, mic, two Raspberry mic. speaker, two mic Pi Hat. Yeah. And this one actually runs also <coughs> really well on this. So like this. So now you can run, run the re speaker to my own white terminal, and it looks really neat. And actually, we are releasing the new, <coughs> new Wi-Fi software for white terminal. So before that, we were running on the AT command mm -hmm. on the uh, RTL eight seventy zero, yeah. and now we are running on the ERPC, which supports both Wi-Fi and. Bluetooth. So now you can run them, run Wi-Fi and Bluetooth together. So you can see I am actually testing some H <coughs> HTTPS and MQTTS today. So this is actually sending the <coughs> IMU data from Y terminal to the MQTTS server. So you're receiving the data right here, right here. So if you move, it's updated every one second, I think I've set it to, and you can also publish from the server back to Y terminal so we can publish whatever whatever from the server to the Y terminal and it's pretty stable much more stable than the AT command before mm. so yeah that's pretty much it that's what I've been working on mainly Y terminal software and documents oh. what is this one? so that one was we had the 1024, which was the programmer date last week, and we got given a sticker by HR, which means stay leave and the fat can go away, <laughs> which suits me. Well, so yeah, that's all I've got. Oh, thank you, Anson. Oh, uh, thank you, Tony. So, yeah. Oh, there are some cool projects in our office, which I would like to show you guys in next few videos. And for example, like this one, which is including a growth TDS sensor and a wire terminal to monitor the water quality in this fish tank. And see you guys next week.